How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are taking a look at this fantastic piece of innovation from the folks over at Razer. This is the Chroma mug holder and functionally at its core, pun intended for all you Razer fans out there, it is an RGB coaster. And don't let that fool you. It is a game changer. It's a groundbreaking piece of innovation that will change your life forever. It changed mine. I've only been using it for a week and already my wife loves me more. Cake no longer has any effect on my metabolism I found. And you know those little ingrown hairs that you get sometimes when you're shaving? I don't get those anymore. They just, they just stopped coming in. Now I know you're already drooling over this groundbreaking technology, but unfortunately you might have a hard time getting your hands on one of these. These aren't conventionally sold at uh, trusted retailers. You're gonna have to find one on a reseller like eBay, for example, and probably have to pay an absurd amount of money to a scalper because they're available in limited supplies only. There's only 1,337 of these units available worldwide, and I was lucky enough to have received unit number 499 out of elite amount at the Razer booth during CES this year. So I feel very privileged and fortunate to be able to share this unboxing experience with you guys today. So on that note, you may continue fuming with envy as I gawk over this product in front of you. Alrighty then, let's go ahead and crack this guy open. All right, upon lifting the first flap, looks like we're greeted with this nice little letter here from, uh, looks like it's from Min Liang Tang himself, the CEO and chief gamer of Razer. I'm not gonna read the whole thing, but it says this limited edition Razer Chroma mug holder is our thanks for your tremendous support for 2016. Oh good, I'm glad that Razer acknowledges all the great things that I've done for their company. The Razer Chroma mug holder is also equipped with Razer Chroma lighting on the base, so looks like it can sync up perfectly with all your other Razer Chroma enabled peripherals. Haha. -ha. That's pretty cool. With intelligent detection, the base lights up when you place the mug on it and keeps you hydrated by blinking green according to an optimal drinking schedule. I have not witnessed the blinking green uh, cue myself, but maybe we can also give that a whirl later on. Opening the second flap, looks like we've got a nice, lots of nice foam here. Very cushiony, lots of foam protecting the innards. First thing we're gonna open up here is this documentation pamphlet because we'll, we'll start with the least interesting stuff first and work our way up to the good stuff. Uh, so we got some stickers, Razor stickers. I always recommend placing these on like street signs or other places that the, could cause havoc. We've also got some documentation on how to use the Razor Chroma mug holder because uh, it, it's confusing and not straightforward at all. Uh, system requirements. Let, can your system even run a coaster? We don't know. Let's let's see what it, what it takes. You need a PC with a free USB port. Okay, fair, fair enough. Uh, Windows 7 or higher. You also need an internet connection and 200 megabytes of free hard disk space, uh, I would assume, for the software, again. Uh, keep the Razer Chroma mug holder away from liquid. What? How the hell is that supposed to work? Maybe they just mean, like, don't dip it in, like, a pool. Do not take apart the Razer Chroma mug holder. Doing so will void your warranty. I, I didn't know this thing had a warranty. But that's kind of cool. If something goes wrong, I can maybe uh, trade it in for, for another one. I don't know how that works if there's only 1,300 of them or so, but uh, good good to know. All right, cool, documentation out of the way. Uh, let's take a look at the mug itself. This, uh, this does also come with a mug and not just a mug holder. And it's a fa fairly nice mug, it's a 20 ounce. It's got a nice Razer logo for gamers by gamers on the bottom there. Uh, it does kind of have like this nice metallic finish. It's matte, I'm glad it's not nasty and glossy. And uh, we've also got a nice little lid here, a lid with a little locking mechanism. Um, it doesn't seem like it's too secure when it's, when it's locked, it's very easy to just slide it. I could see some accidental slippage here and maybe spilling some hot stuff all, your, all over your face. Uh, the cap, however, the, the actual cap inlay is pretty, pretty solid. Here's a look at the inside. It's a, it's a, it's a mug. You drink out of it. You know, it, 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 de it definitely looks like it can hold liquid. Good stuff there. No RGB lighting on the mug itself, unfortunately. I know, I know. That's just come on. Where, what do, what are you guys thinking? And then we've got the, uh, the main, main star of the show here, which is the mug holder. Uh, I had to repackage this for the video, so it didn't actually come all fray. Like the cabling did not look this messy. That's just me. So uh, here it is. Um, it does have the RGB lighting around the bottom. We'll take a closer look at that later. It's got a nice rubber grip on the bottom as well, so it doesn't slip around on your desk surface. And uh, the RGB lighting is activated anytime you put the mug on top of the actual coaster. Um, so it's uh, pressure activated. Uh, it's just kind of goes down a millimeter or so and it activates a button or something like that and the lights turn on. Uh, the braided cable is fairly nice. It's a USB braided cable. I believe it's anywhere from four to six feet. Can't really tell right now. We've got a Razer logo here. It says Signature Black Edition. Signature Black Edition and it even has an engraving of the number, the number unit that you have out of 1,337. So 499 
out of 1337. That's pretty leet, if I do say so myself. But that's pretty much all we can do with this thing in our hands not plugged in. So why don't we go ahead and boot on a computer to take this bad boy for a spin. All right, people, so I've connected the Chroma mug holder to the razor blade that I have here. And let's go ahead and uh, just check out what we can do with it in the Synapse software. I, I have updated to the latest version of Synapse, and that actually popped up the Razer Chroma Mug icon here, letting us know that the, that the device is connected and ready to customize. So uh, initially when I plugged this thing in, by default, the LEDs on the base are off. So I thought you could only activate the LEDs by placing the mug on top, but that's not necessarily the case. As we see in the software, you've got options to customize the LEDs with or without the mug. So without mug, set to off right now, but let's go ahead and switch that to something like, well, here's static first off, just to give you an idea. And the color accuracy of the LEDs is actually quite good. Um, this is kind of a fuchsia tone, which of course needs to match with Hotline, and it certainly does. Uh, the white is a little bit on the cool side. You can see, I don't know if you can tell from the camera, it's a little on the cool side, but I've definitely seen worse. Um, with other gaming peripherals in the past, not necessarily from Razer. Um, so this is actually not too bad for, for a freaking for a freaking mug holder. Here's a look at the green, and I kind of like how it gently fades and transitions to the next color even when you're switching it in the software. That's kind of nice. So a cool thing you can do here is um, you can also sync whatever LED effects that are on the coaster to other Chroma-enabled devices. And you can see there's a button right here that says that in the software. I click that and all of a sudden my keyboard is changed to the same LED profile or LED uh, effect as, as the mug holder. That's pretty cool. You can also do that with, uh, with the mug on top of the coaster. So if we, let's see, Spectrum Cycling is what it's set to now when we occupy the mug holder. So now you can see it's gonna cycle through some colors. And if we apply that, if we click apply to other Chroma enabled devices, then the keyboard follows suit. The bummer, the only downfall here is that by doing that, it actually disables the previous sync that we had. So when you remove the mug, now um, the coaster goes back to its off state or its no mug state. However, the keyboard continues how it was. So that's kind of a bummer. You can't have both synced uh, at, the, at the same time, unless I've completely missed something. I'm gonna go ahead and switch this to, to breathing when, when, the, when the mug is off. I like it to, to breathe in, let's do like a dark red, as if we're running on empty. And we'll just do red by itself. So now it should be breathing red, and it is. So that's cool. Uh, and then with the mug, I do like the, uh, the wave effect. I'm, I'm quite partial to the wave effect when the mug's on top of it. So there's my, there's my profile. So I can save this now as whatever profile I want. I can name it, I can make a number of these profiles, and I could even link it to a program, uh, which, is, which is super, super handy. So altogether, I'm, I'm very satisfied with this, uh, with, this, with this coaster. And I have had one, one, one uh, serving of coffee with this coaster so far, and I can tell you the coffee actually tastes better. It, it tastes at least 20% more colorful. So really quick, I wanted to mention that apart from the included mug, the coaster also supports different kinds of glassware. I've tested this with beer bottles, wine glasses, probably not so much because the base will probably be a bit too big for the coaster itself to fit within the rim, but everything else seems heavy enough to depress that pressure sensor and activate the LEDs beneath. So that's that's good to know. You don't you're not completely limited to just the actual mug. I guess my closing thoughts on the Chroma mug holder are generally positive. I think it works very well. I like how it integrates very seamlessly with the Chroma software. You wouldn't even realize that this was just kind of a freebie. I mean, if this was actually being sold in retail stores or online, I'm sure it would sell. And that kind of brings me to the question of has Razer or companies like Razer, like Corsair, other you know RGB riddled uh, vendors, have they gone too far with RGB lighting? I think the answer is no, generally, because otherwise people wouldn't be buying them. Otherwise they wouldn't continue making RGB products. There's clearly a demand for them. People who hate them will always hate them. But the fact is, is that RGB is just an extension of part of why we like PC building in the first place, to make something our own, to customize it, uh, to have a personal attachment to it. And so if RGB lights can help achieve that to some degree, then I guess that's all part of what makes the PC community special. That being said, I do understand the argument of, well, that can also hike up the price on 
products for purely aesthetic reasons when you're just trying to get the most function out of it. And so that there's an argument to that too. But I think at the end of the day, it's going to boil down to you as a user, as always, and what your specific needs are. But that's all I have to say for this video. I know it was silly. Hopefully you don't take it too seriously. It's a coaster. Let me know in the comments though, if you would actually buy this and how much you'd be willing to pay for this. I'm gonna close out the video. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to toss me a like on it if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more tech stuff coming at you really soon. I love you guys. Have a good one and I'll see y'all in the next video.